And finally, new rules. Stop telling me every time you find evidence there might be life on Mars. Until the rover pans to the left and there are little green men doing duck lips, I don't care. <laughs> Mars is back in the news <clears throat> because methane was found up there by NASA's robot called the Curiosity Rover, which sounds like your <laughs> Tinder profile if you only do anal out of town. <laughs> And now with the 50th anniversary of America's first man on the moon moment approaching on July 20th, there's lots of talk about space forces and manned missions and going back to the moon and on to Mars and... Please, have you flown coach lately? <laughs> we can barely put a man on the surface of LAX. <laughs> I don't know if Mars is full of methane, but we're full of shit. <laughs> we're not going anywhere. Mike Pence said the stated policy of the Trump administration is to walk on the moon again by 2024 by any means necessary. He, <laughs> he really used that phrase. <laughs> now, applaud, you people. Applaud if you believe that's actually going to happen by 2024. <laughs> well, to everyone who applauded, I have some Avenatti 2020 T-shirts <laughs> I am letting go for a very reasonable price. Folks, really, America can't maintain our infrastructure, can't update our power grid, we can't get off oil, can't even secure our elections. And we're gonna fly 35 million miles to Mars? Have you looked at our math scores? <laughs> Forget the launch, we couldn't even do the countdown. <laughs> you wanna find water on Mars? How about first we find water in Flint, Michigan? <laughs> I'm sorry, but we're not the we'll race you to the moon country anymore. We're the I've fallen and I can't get up country. <laughs> and as far as this argument goes that we gotta get back to the moon to use as a launching pad to get to Mars, where we really gotta go, because we're trashing this place so bad, we need a backup planet. Here's an idea. Instead of going to Mars, how about we just stop treating Earth the way Led Zeppelin treated hotel rooms? <laughs> This is, uh, this is something I addressed in an editorial here a couple of years ago, that if we're going to spend the time, effort, and money to make an entire planet sustainable for human life, why not the one that already has air and water and the right temperature and, oh, yeah, we're here? Well, this position... This position was deemed completely unacceptable by a number of experts who live in their mother's basement <laughs> who, ac <laughs> who accuse me of being anti-science. Uh, I'm not anti-science. I'm just a big fan of oxygen. <laughs> it's... It's my second favorite thing to inhale. <laughs> In fact, it's easy to list what Mars does offer by just taking everything humans need and adding no. <laughs> no air, no surface water, no heat, no natural resources, no Wi-Fi, which to millennials is worse than no air. I would say let's colonize Mars if we didn't know what was up there, but we do know what's up there. Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. And even if it comes to that, and we do someday need a side piece space rock, <laughs> why not the moon? Instead of going all the way to friggin' Mars, why travel tens of millions of miles when we have our own desolate, lifeless shithole <laughs> only 250,000 miles away? <laughs> I... I have more frequent flyer miles on Delta. <laughs> It takes six months to get to Mars, and Mars and Earth are rarely aligned for travel, so missions can only happen during a two-week window every two years. If you get in trouble on Mars, you're on your own. It's like living in Puerto Rico. <laughs> but, but we can get to the moon in three days. Amazon will be delivering there. <laughs> oh, but Bill... <clears throat> 
I know, nerds, I know. I know the argument you're gonna say, but a Mars day is close in length to our Earth day, whereas a moon day can last 28 Earth days. Who gives a shit if you have to live underground or in a fucking dome the whole time? How badly would we have to rat fuck the Earth before living like that was preferable? It's not easy to live in the Sahara or the North Pole or West Virginia. But, but it still beats Mars. It's summertime now. Don't you want to be outside? I'm gonna spend as much of my July vacation as I can outside, where I can do so many of those summertime things I like that I couldn't do outside on Mars, like breathing <laughs> and throwing a Frisbee and peeing in the ocean. <laughs> I love summer. Summer on Earth, ice cream. Summer on Mars, you scream. <laughs> All right.